distinguished guest uh, and participants uh, welcome to my presentation uh, my name is Moshumi Parbin. I work for PCM project. The project is implemented by Planning Commission Bangladesh and supported by UNDP and UNEP. The, con the concept I'm um, uh, discussing now is main streamlining climate change into development planning. It's a concept developed by, uh, developed by a group of people Simon mentioned earlier. The presentation will be focusing more on uh, uh, how it is integrating into the into climate change uh, uh, into climate change main streaming main lining process. So the presentation, uh, the framework, or the paper will give you the planners a option for uh, think strategically and think systematically. How can they address climate resilient into uh, development planning? So the content of my presentation will be focusing more on government perspective, uh, basically how the paper is being developed, uh, its methodology, and the, of course the concept main streamlining, and the framework and the emerging trends. So now uh, let me, uh, uh, let me uh, say about uh, something, the methodological part. It's, uh, Simon said earlier, it's a uh, framework that is developed by a group of people, mainly uh, the government group from Asia, South Asia, and Africa. They actually developed the paper based on their experiential learning, based on their knowledge and uh, existing practices. So the Paper is being prepared through mostly reflection, experience sharing, uh, and review of extensive amount of literatures. Of course, uh, it has an opportunity to consult with the other, uh, uh, other stakeholders outside government, like last COP and uh, like this CVA 7. So of course, we will ask uh, your comments on the paper. So uh, now let me explain what is mainstream lining, what does it mean really? So it refers to an, uh, it's an approaches. The approaches is not so much generic approaches, it is very much strategic approaches and it's uh, country driven and the country's own domestic priorities uh, is the key heart of the concept. So it's emphasized more on uh, uh, the cross-sectoral integration of climate change issues and how it will be uh, integrated into the uh, development planning process for climate resilient development. So to, to implement the concept or to uh, materialize the concept, a framework uh, we have developed uh, that will help to assess and plan, uh, that will help to assess and plan for the planners uh, to identify options, to identify activities, to identify their uh, conditions and positions like that. And it has three building blocks. Uh, and uh, again, uh, it is pertinent to be mentioned here that uh, the uh, building block is also developed by the same process I mentioned earlier, that is reflection, experience sharing, and knowledge sharing. The three key uh, building blocks are enabling environment, policy and planning, and program and projects. So let me uh, tell about the enabling environment. Uh, the enabling environment refers to a, uh, a system or a process that will help us, the planners, to integrate uh, climate change issues in their planning process. So it has two sub-components, that is uh, political will and information process. So uh, political will is very much important to uh, create an enabling environment. And the political will refers to politicians, the governments, the technocrats, and the uh, 
and other stakeholders, donors, communities. The second uh, uh, building block is policy and planning. Uh, of course, without uh, uh, integrating the, the issues into policy and planning, it is very difficult to work on it. So political will has three, uh, has, um, three subcomponent, that is policy in institutions and budgetary instrument. And the budgetary instrument is very important for many streamlining climate change. Uh, without it, is, it is quite difficult to, to address it. And of course, there are some projects and programs. So it is not, uh, the three building blocks is not uh, one after another. It is, uh, it can be mutually, uh, mutually reflected in the planning process. So the, this is the three key building blocks we are proposing from the group. So I said earlier, the building blocks will help to assess and identify uh, priorities, domestic priorities and need and uh, uh, their actions. So uh, we have said some questions. Uh, that is the political will is uh, the government has or the is the country has the political will to many streamlining climate change issues um, and the uh, information services is available there and uh, policy response is there uh, or not instrument inst institutional instruments are there or not so there are some basic uh, assessment questions that will help to assess the country's positions and their uh, existing level of uh, uh, level of uh, mainstream planning climate change issues, so uh, it's something that it will create a baseline. So, based on the baseline, we can move forward. So we are few countries are here to develop the concept. So there are some emerging trends or some good practices we have identified. Uh, so uh, on the left hand side, you uh, already uh, know that there are some case, four cases we have prepared so you can have a look on it. Uh, I can say few examples like in case of political will, is the government's political will. So we have identified that, okay, for example, Bangladesh has a good political will to many streamlining climate change issues because we have BCC, SAP, we have NAPA, we have financial mechanism in Bangladesh, so it is there. And information services, we can take example from Kenya. They have good information services. They have T21 model. The T21 model will help the planners to uh, to assess their economic uh, economic opportunities, and it will help to coordinate among the ministries. Uh, it will help to uh, uh, it will help to identify priorities among the ministries. So the examples are there, and policy policy framework. We can take example of Gambia uh, that we figure it out. Uh, institutional arrangement, we can take example from Kenya and Bangladesh. Uh, there are some other countries, uh, it, is in, it is being practices, but uh, Kenya and Bangladesh is moving fast on institutional arrangement. And uh, for the case of Bangladesh, we have some institutional arrangement, that is, you already know that we have two uh, financing mechanisms in Bangladesh, that, that is Bangladesh Climate Resilient Fund and Bangladesh a climate has, uh, trust fund. So both, both the funds are operating in Bangladesh under Ministry of Environment. And the financial framework is uh, uh, Rwanda, Cambodia, Bangladesh, Laos. The four countries are moving ahead for financial uh, framework. So at the end, uh, we can say that uh, the each block that is uh, enabling environment policy and project program uh, we have figured out that uh, each block indicates that the countries are uh, increasingly many streaming lining climate change resilience into their development planning and uh, countries are moving ahead with the three building blocks. So this is very brief uh, description about our work. So if you have any questions, please 
uh, ask, we can discuss it more detail. Thank you.